Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, yeah, I finally went and bought a uh, cheap wheel off eBay. Um, so far I'm really happy with it. I had my first go on it last night through a few mugs, a couple of bowls, um, a little lidded trinket box. Yeah, um, it was the last drawer when I fell off this again <laughs> the other day. Um, I think I've said folks it's a balancing act I have to lean it up against the side of the wheel and occasionally it slips from under me so yeah um, it seems reasonably good reasonably good for small things um, maybe a couple of pound um, so I'm going to throw a few of these cream jugs on it but at the minute I'm just having to go at some small vases <coughs> Trying to get organised, everybody. Um, I've put it on a platform and on that's on wheels, so I can push it underneath my shelving when I'm not using it. <laughs> the hardest thing was finding a something to sit on the right height as well. Um, I was messing about with sitting on the cat's baskets, carrier things. Um, Buckets with my throwing bats on top of. <laughs> so instead of slamming it down on this because it doesn't feel that strong, I'm just pushing the clay on. Bit of knocking noise and uh, The wheel head does slow down with a little with minimum pressure being put on it. But folks, it only cost £80 and that was with packing, with packaging and shipping. That's not actually the wheel rocking, it's the wheels that I've I've put it on top of. I need to put something underneath one of the wheels. Really nice not having to kick folks. <laughs> My right leg doesn't know what to do. Yeah, up until my first go on this last night, it's been a long while since I've been on a, an electric wheel. Since my old Cowley blew up. Yeah, I don't think I'd like to try and throw anything bigger than three pounds at the minute. I'll probably have a go folks and see what happens at some point but I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera but the wheel head doesn't like a lot of downward force it's obviously not a very big and powerful motor but I like I say for the price and what I want it for I just wanted it for for small pieces to use the arm instead of the foot pedal it feels a bit small for my size 10 feet
Um, I was looking for a warranty, um, a guarantee. When I unboxed it, I did actually do an unboxing video, but I deleted it by mistake. But I couldn't see any any warranty. Um, so having not seen that it's got any type of guarantee on it, I've already drilled some holes in this for for bat pins. <laughs> So I'm hopeless at getting bowls off of the wheel head unless they're on bats. I'm not particularly liking the shape of this folks. Lift that up a bit. So yeah, I'm liking it folks, <laughs> like a kid with a new toy, I prefer to be able to get a bit um, a bit more power for, for the price, I think I said, it's uh, pretty good so far, I'd like to be able to get a bit of, a bigger water pot in the splash pan. Um, I can only fit a small bowl in there at the minute. I don't really like using them by my side because I tend to spill it all down the side of the wheel head. But I'll sort something out I think. Probably make myself a bowl that's uh, specifically for this splash pan. I'll give you a look in a sec folks inside. It's got um, separate compartments. Uh, Maybe I could do away with one of those to fit my water pan in. Let's narrow that a little bit more. I can't remember if I did the rim, it doesn't look like I did. <laughs> yeah, it's got these separate little compartments um, for tools. This splash pan is actually detachable. Um, I didn't think it was the one that I was looking at a review on. Um, you couldn't remove it. Responsibility is good 
um, just as good as my Cowley was. It just hasn't got the torque. But it does walk the walk. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pleased I bought it, folks. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.